I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 66 and we are going to talk about that we have to be whole, act with integrity, finding common grounds. Remember, when we talk about common grounds, we have to see the expectations, the priorities of our stakeholders with us. Therefore, remember, when you are talking about finding common grounds, there are different aspects you need to focus upon. For example, remember that your performance in one domain is going to affect the other domains. Agar aap apne aap ko bohut zada focus pe rakhe huye ho towards your work, to maybe your home is compromised, maybe community is compromised, or even maybe your own self is compromised. To aap ko equitable grounds ke upar apna time aur apni attention wo focus karni hai. Secondly, Sometimes mutuality brings positive synergy. So, if we establish this equitable ground, then we will have a benefit of mutuality. We can create a synergy, which is actually the synchronized energy, which is actually which is actually the synchronized energy, which is actually the synchronized energy, which is actually the The third thing you need to and bear in your mind is a positive feedback is very important. And with that positive feedback, say, Aapko ek booster milega, aapko ek motivation milegi. And the positive feedback should be flowing both way. Aapki stakeholder ki taraf feedback jaye or stakeholder ka feedback aapki taraf hai. Another important thing that you have to build the trust. You have to restore the trust. Or trust ko build up karne ke liye, remember that you have to create a dialogue among your targeted domains. You have to create a trust relationship and support to achieve your common goal. Second important thing is that trust will be when you are in a win-win situation. Mein ho. Win lose, lose win, or lose lose to situations hai, uske andar trust build up nahi ho pata. And the win-win situation is no doubt talking about the benefit of both the stakeholders. Another important thing is that you have emotional intelligence, ka sahara lena hai, aapko empathy wo lekar aani hai. And remember that empathy is mandatory. Because without taking the care of other people, forget about that they, they, that they would be there to take care about you. Another important thing is that this stakeholder relationship ko better karne ke liye, hume apni intentions ko bhi better karna hai. Because amal ka daro madar niyaton par hai. Aur jab tak hum apni niyat ko correct nahi karenge, hamare liye difficult ho jayega properly, positively interact karna. And remember, ke it is a matter of continuous repair. Nobody is perfect. No relation is forever. We have to see that we have deteriorating relation ko, hum us vakt ke saath badalte huye takazon ko kis tarikhe se overcome wo kar sakte hai. And for that, sometimes we have to remain and keep ourselves in continuous repair. Or wo continuous repair hi hamari continuous improvement ka sabab wo ban sakegi. Therefore, we have to see ke aapas ke maamalat mein trust kaisa ho sakta hai. It can be deterrence based trust which basically depends on the fear of reprisal if the trust is violated. So, your trust is fear on the fear. Another can be knowledge-based trust, which is based on your past interaction. How your past interaction has been based on your past interaction. How your past interaction has been based on your past interaction. And the third type of trust can be the trust is based on mutual understanding. That you have two stakeholders, you have four stakeholders, what is the matter? And the understanding and perception of your trust will build up. Therefore, what you have to do to do and build the trust is to start talking. In total leadership practice, we are very happy that we should be respecting the whole person, we should be respecting all the stakeholders, and we should be there to communicate and interact with the people according, according to their needs, wants, values and expectations. Or jab tak ye needs, wants and values hamari shared nahi hongi, expectations shared nahi hongi, we would not be able to make the things happen the way we want. Ek bohut important cheez zindagi mein yaad rakhye ga, ke it is all about a package deal. Tamam stakeholders ke jo talukat hain, jo maamalat hain, wo sab ke sab package deal hai. Or a package ke andar sab kuch offer nahi hota. If one thing is more in one package, it might be costing more for you related to that particular thing. 
सो रिमेंबर के लाइफ इज जस्ट लाइक अ पैकेज डील और आप ये एक्सपेक्ट मत कीजिएगा कि एक पैकेज में यू आर अवेलेबल विद एवरीथिंग देर फोर जब हम जिंदगी को पैकेज डील के अंदर ट्रांसलेट कर लेंगे तो द नेक्स्ट थिंग वुड बी कि हम वैल्यू दे पाएंगे रिलेशनशिप्स को और जब हम वैल्यू दे पाएंगे तो हमारे लिए आसान होगा कि हम उन टूटे हुए तकाजों और मामला को फिर से जोड़ सकें अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो डियर स्टूडेंट्स याद रखिएगा कि ये एक मुसलसल अमल है एक मुसलसल जिदोजहद है जिसमें हमें अपने आप को इन्वॉल्व करना है तमाम स्टेक होल्डर के तकाजे तमाम स्टेक होल्डर की रिक्वायरमेंट्स डिफरेंट हो सकती हैं और हमें उनके साथ डिफरेंटली डील वो करना होगा थैंक यू